Nearly two years of construction and work rising 11 floors over downtown Lubbock. And now, just months away from its completion, we'll take you inside the progress of Citizens Tower. This is exciting because this is the first glimpse of elevator. It's important to note here is there's two personnel elevators, and right here we see the shaft for the service elevator that will service every floor. Right now we're standing in the front entrance of what will be Citizens Tower. We have a door on the east side and a door on the south side. This hallway will walk down into the um, uh, elevator banks. You'll be greeted by a receptionist. There'll be a, a police officer here. Off to our right will be the entrance to the council chamber. This area will be the city council chambers. Outfitted with state-of-the-art technology, it will enhance accessibility for citizens both here and over the airwaves. We've designed the chamber to be very accessible, uh, not only for the media, for the uh, citizens that are watching at home on TV or via internet, as well as those that want to attend the meeting. We've also created the room to be flexible. Uh, the chairs will not be fixed, so if the council chamber needed to be used for different events, we could move the chairs around. Beyond cutting edge technology and a brand new feel and look, the future city hall is all about being functional. The columns uh, are exposed and so the way you see this column now is the way you'll see it when you walk in. And the floors will be polished concrete. That's something that we feel like is timeless, uh, it wears well and obviously has little or no maintenance. Just to the southeast of Citizens Tower, another building is soon to be completed the City of Lubbock Utilities Customer Service Building. Underneath the retail center for LPNL, this is an atrium that was built down through the, the existing structure to bring sunlight into all these offices. This is where customers would come and uh, pay their bill or if they have questions for LPNL, they'll be parking for those customers. These two buildings will be the first completed in what will be known as the City Complex, which will eventually include more parking, Municipal Court, and the Lubbock Police Department. First thing, an important thing to note is we're standing in what's going to become a plaza. 14th Street will be closed. Here, here to the, the south is what we anticipate building a parking structure on, and then you'll see some connectivity walkway between police and the tower. To my left here is where the old chamber building set. It's going to be a parking lot. There'll be parking associated with LPNL. There'll be some parking on PDHQ when it comes online. There's a, a lot directly west of us here that's um, north of the M&M Auto Service Building that is owned by the city and is city parking. There's actually one smaller lot back to the west that um, will also be city parking. I also believe it creates a synergy among departments. It's easier for departments to work together. Though the city complex will change the face of local government, it was designed with the most important part of Lubbock in mind, the citizens, making it easier for them to come to one area as a one-stop shop.